Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to uh, Dub's Reef. Today we're going to show you how to uh, acclimate a, a coral in your tank. Uh, I got a little 10 gallon here I set up a few months ago. So uh, I got some cherry picking from the uh, local fish store. Alrighty, so uh, let's get cooking. Alrighty, we're going to take our coral in our bag here and we're just going to float it for, I'm going to float this one for about half an hour just to uh, temperature acclimate it, get it used to the, uh, the water. Alright, so we'll float that for a half an hour and we'll come back. Alright, it's been in there for about a half an hour now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pop the band off, off the top here. Okay, open her up. And uh, depending on the coral is uh, whether or not you have to add water or not. Usually you can uh, just, uh, just temperature acclimate them. Alright, so we're going to go ahead in and uh, grab my little frag here. Alrighty, got her. Now at this point you can pull the bag out. You don't need that anymore. Don't want to put any of that water in there unless you, uh, unless your local fish store is, uh, you know, just kind of free of that, free of that uh, nitrate stuff and all that. But uh, if you do get a coral shipped to you, I do not recommend putting the water in the bag in the tank at all. Um, only because there's most likely going to be a little bit of ammonia and um, and nitrates in there possibly. So uh, you're going to go ahead and place it wherever you like. Little clown is getting angry here. Alright, we got it in our spot. And uh, get a little rag and wipe your hand off. Also another great tip for uh, after you're done with all this to uh, clean up. Just take a little wet rag with some RO water on it and uh, wipe down your tank. Just like that, just to get any of the, uh, the mineral buildup off. Got that from uh, Limpet's Reef. You can check them out. You could uh, go to your, the top of your search out here on YouTube and uh, type in Limpet's Reef. And got a bunch of good videos on uh, a lot of stuff there. I learned quite a bit from him. And uh, he's a big help. So uh, give him a shot. And uh, that's about it. Alright, so I figured I'd give you a little bit of a. Uh tour here of the little 10 gallon. It's been up and running for about three months now. So uh, first I guess I'll start you off with the equipment. Uh, in the back here we have a Via Aqua. It's a 180, I believe it's the smallest one, with the uh, adjustable flow and the wide nozzle. And moving right along we have the green star polyps. Just a little teeny frag of them. Picked those up last week. And, uh, let's see, we got the little, uh, the uh, purple dotty back right there. He's nice and colorful. Have the uh, tomato clown. He's been in there for about two months now. Uh, total, there's probably about 15 pounds of live rock. So I'm getting good biological filtration. And right up here we have the uh, Kenya, uh, Capanella Kenya tree. I don't know if you could see that too well with the uh, camera, with the light and everything. In the back we have a pump from the Fission Nano Skimmer. I figured that that was uh, pretty much a waste of money. Didn't really do too much for me, so I kind of just got rid of the uh, the housing and used the pump. The pump is alright. The pump is working good for me. And today our newly added frag, the, uh, the Pulsing Xenia. I don't know if you could. I don't think you could see that too well through the camera, but uh, it's a it's a pretty nice little piece. It's only a couple bucks, so I'm to give it a, a whirl. Up top, we got the uh, the mag. Always need that. Uh, good for cleaning the tops. I am not running open top. Um, just showing you that right now. That's uh that's how we put the coral in. I have this um, this uh, plexiglass piece here that I run over the top. And I have a slot uh, cut out for the light. 
which is a 28 watt coral life PC good for any like low light corals nothing too serious you can't really fit an anemone in here with this uh, with this light because it, it just it's just not enough light for it but it's nice and bright you know and uh, let's see what else we got on here got a little hang on back with some rubble in it I don't know if you can see that Let's try and get some light in there there you go okay and uh, that's about it for the equipment the light pretty much keeps the heat on it so I don't really need a heater for it and uh, it runs about 74 to 75 degrees and uh, that's about it hope you enjoyed this uh, this little presentation here for you.